We're in our seventh year in X-Forces Enterprise and uh, you'll be pleased to know, Amy, we're now up to 1,900 businesses that we've started and supported. Um, Thousands and thousands of mentoring hours and building a community around our business owners. But also, and I think it's quite an important stat, especially with International Women's Day, is that 30% of our community, so something like just coming up to 600, are female-led business owners. So I think that's quite a phenomenal amount. And that is made up of service leavers, female veterans and family members as well, which is really quite something to be proud of. That is 100% something to be proud of. That must make you feel so good because I believe that is actually above the national average when you're, when you're looking is- at business owners. Yeah, and depending on what report that you read, NatWest, Alison Rose, who's the chief executive for NatWest and first female CEO, she's done a review which talks about one in five businesses are female-led. And here we are with stats that are much higher than that. So if you take that, it's about 20% on national average, we're up by 30%, so we're 30%, which is really, really great news. Your relationship with business. I know that sounds a bit simplistic to say, but it is extraordinary. And it's it's an incredible relationship you've had. You understand how businesses work. Uh, you obviously see gaps in the market. And I mean, so much so that you've been awarded an MBE for entrepreneurship and the Queen's 90th birthday honours list. I mean, how did this all start for you? Where did your strong and keen interest in business start, Ren? That's a lovely question, actually, Amy. My background and culture and British Indian, I didn't necessarily have the same opportunities uh, because of circumstances to continue within the educational treadmill, if you like. So I had my first business at 18 and I understood at a very early age that it's not just about your own grit and your own passion about something. It's also making sure that there's an environment around you that is conducive to enterprise and business ownership because it's, it's, it's hard yards. If anybody tells you about starting a business and running a business is easy. I want to meet that person. (laughs) So from my own perspective, it was through adversity that I got into business. But what I did find very quickly is that if you've got the right ingredients around you, you can actually be successful and you can achieve. And success is an interesting word in itself because to some people, success may be financial. To some people, it may well be having a, a career that works around their lifestyle, be that children, family, and well-being, really. And that's the raison d'etre for X-Forces. We are about enterprise skills and what enterprise skills can actually provide an individual, be that self-employment or actually opting that self-employment may not be right at that moment in time. And I do believe that's the reason why we have the success or our businesses have the success that they have, is that they take a very considered approach to being in their own You've always championed the military, Ren. You've done so much for the military, especially women in the military as well. I mean, uh, bringing together some of the country's thought leaders for the Women 100 Female Leadership and Influence Strategic Forum. I mean, that must have been very hard to put on a badge. But, I mean, getting great minds into one room and saying, all right, how can we help women in business? And you've done all this with the military in mind. So what's the passion there? Well, I would have joined (laughs) at 16 had I had the opportunity. So I've always wanted to be in the armed forces. I've always felt that sense of belonging was somewhere where I wanted to go and be part of. I was a bit of a latchkey kid. My father passed away when I was 15. I had an arranged marriage at 16. That sort of gives you a a bit of the game away now in terms of uh, why I got into business ownership at a very early age. Something was missing and that family environment, which I wasn't necessarily going to get in the conventional way. So the armed forces really did have a pull with me that I wasn't even aware of consciously until I was a little bit older. 
So when I sold my shares in my last business in 2012, I took it upon myself to see what else could be done for community groups. And I found that there was this big void, if you will, for people who had served and still felt that a community environment was something that they really missed. And that was a a gap uh, preventing them to get to where they wanted to get to. And sometimes it's not just about owning your own business. It's about having that community, that network and that support system around you. So, yeah, I created something that I really wanted to be part of. And I do believe that the X-Forces community is actually my family as well. (laughs) Well, you're just such an inspirational lady, Ren, and I love talking to you. So not only setting up all of these other people in business, running your own successful business, you're also a reservist in the army. So, (laughs) I mean, I don't know where you find time to do it, being a reservist myself. I know how busy life can get. But tell us a little bit about your role in the army. So I am part of the General Service Corps. I am absolutely delighted that I have managed to actually be part of it. I'm still green behind the ears, Amy. So I'm still learning a lot, but I've, my unit are amazing. And I couldn't have asked for more support than I'm getting. I, I didn't think that it would be as welcoming unnecessarily uh, as it already is. But the thing that I enjoy the most is really being able to provide some of my expertise, um, knowledge and skills, particularly around empowerment, sense of purpose and young people and where the economy is going. So that's the part that I bring to to my unit. Well, they're very, very lucky to have you. You're an extraordinary lady. And it's a real pleasure to have you here at BFBS, the Forces Station on International Women's Day. Now, last thought, Ren. There are a lot of ladies listening on Civvy Street and, of course, in our armed forces as well. Have you got a message on International Women's Day? I do. And it is please do follow your dream and know that there is a network out there. There's five things that have been cited as to what prevent women from taking that step forward. One of them is access to funding. There is not one one only solution out there. There's a lot of different solutions out there. Another one is about unconscious bias, thinking that perhaps we can't do this. So please do talk to other people. There are networks out there. There is so much opportunity. We are a nation of innovators, but there is also a gap between innovating and also actually taking that into practice. But the support systems are out there. So my message to you, women who may be listening on International Women's Day is please do reach out not just for to X Forces Enterprise, but other networks similar to ourselves, because now's our time. We are incredibly lucky with the handrail of support that is out there. And if you're not sure where it is, please find out from us or from other people that we can connect you from. Founder and CEO of X Forces Enterprise, Ren Kapoor, MBE, on International Women's Day. It's a real pleasure to talk to you today, Ren. Thank you. Thank you very much.